Hello and welcome to Conversations That Connect. We are your hosts, Suki and Taylor. Join us as we explore the IT, digital, accounting and finance recruitment industry and dive into the factors shaping our careers and life. Get ready for engaging discussions that bridge work, life and really everything in between. Grab your headphones, sit back and let's explore the connections that drive success. So we've recently um, put out a salary guide for 2024-2025, which is very exciting, especially if you are a candidate. We want to walk through today the different ways that you can use it, um, not only to benchmark your salary, but for career progression, leadership development, opportunities, all of that. And also just seeing what's available in the market within the industry that you might not know of the roles that are there. So yeah, we wanted to um, have a chat today around that. Also, we had some really good feedback on it as well. Um, So if you would like it, shoot us a message and we can send it through to you. Um, I think it's a really valuable tool that you can use in, you know, benchmarking where you're at at the moment within your current company. But also if you are looking for work as well, You've got a little bit of an idea on what's in the market, not only locally, but Australia-wide as well. So, We actually did two salary guides. We did a salary guide for IT and digital, but we also did a salary guide for finance and accounting. And we did it across Australia, as Taylor says. Um, And yes, the tool is not just a benchmark. It's really interesting to look at all the different roles and the titles in, in, involved mm. in a salary guide. Um, and yes, it doesn't explain what the role is, but if you can look at where you're sitting and what that next opportunity or that next salary band might be, it could be that could be your next step, your next career move, that next progression in the career is, okay, that's the next role that I'm, I'm looking at. Yeah, you'll have an idea of what the salary range would be and then doing a bit of research in terms of, okay, here I am now. What do I need to get to that next level? Yeah. What tools do I need to um, acquire to get to that next level within the organization? And that could be a conversation with us mm-hmm. as external recruitment um, consultants, but it could also be a conversation with your manager mm-hmm. to say Is there this kind of role in the organization? You'll probably know that there would be that next step. What do I need to do to get to that next level? Definitely. Yeah. What is expected of me to do that? Yeah. And the way that we've laid out the salary guide as well. So you've obviously got like your CEO, CTO, CFOs at the top. And then you've kind of, we've worked it down all the way down to like an entry level role. Yes. So again, using that if you want to be a CTO or a CFO, just using that to be like, okay, how many steps do I have to take to to get where I need to be? And yeah, like you said, Suki, jump on, do some research, find out what you need as well. But um also if you're looking to move, like if you want to move states as well, so if you're in Brisbane, you want to move to Sydney or you want to move to WA, also just keeping an eye out just so you know roughly what your salary is going to be in the different states. And it's it's different. Sydney is different to Brisbane, is different to WA. Very surprisingly, WA had a massive increase, um, I felt, this new year. Um, But also if you feel like you're not getting paid what you deserve either, it is a good guide to go off to then have that conversation with management for pay rises. Yeah, have a bit of evidence to showcase and use a few salary to get an average of where you're sitting. I'm telling when you were saying, you know, just um, if you want to move into state, I'm also thinking of international international candidates yes, of course. that arrive in Australia that have no idea. Um, you, Oh, sorry, not no idea. You might have an, an idea of what roles are paying, but a lot of the times when we speak to candidates that have just arrived, they've got their visa, they're ready to work, they don't really know where to benchmark themselves yeah. in terms of salary. And yes, there's a whole bunch of other factors to take into consideration as well. But salary, it's good to know 
more or less where a role's salary sits within the state that you're looking to um, to settle and to start working so that yeah. you can have transparent conversations when yeah. you have an interview, when you're yeah. speaking to clients, when you're speaking to recruitment consultants, have an idea what you're worth um, and use this as a tool. It's not an exact science. It's a tool. It's a guide, but it's a pretty good guide. Um, yeah. We we both spoke to a candidate actually and I just remembered that he came internationally and he was very quite high up in where he came. And a rare and, skill set as well. Uh, yeah, it's not common. It's mm-hmm. very unique and sought after yeah. for certain industries. And he came to Australia and he got a job that was paying well below what he was worth like well well below well below industry standards for Mm. someone like that and I think if he had the salary guide he may have been able to you know have that discussion in more depth and not be sort of caught out he got stuck in a salary that he wasn't worth he couldn't he couldn't get out of it and he was basically struggling to live on what he was making Mm -hmm. um but him not having that you know that information prior made it really difficult for him to actually know what he was worth in the industry here in Australia because he came from overseas so yeah yeah, just having I guess it it kind of gives you a little bit more of a of a confidence boost yeah. to be able to have that conversation and go, oh, actually, I've done my research. This is where we should be sitting. Yes. And then obviously from that you can negotiate. Um, yeah. I know having come from overseas and having to have those first conversations, the, f- the thing you want to do is you want to find a job. Mm. And you're almost going, well, I need to find a job as quickly as possible but the next sentence shouldn't be at any cost. Yeah. It should be at what you're worth. And yes, maybe there's a bit of negotiation because you don't have specific industry experience or you haven't worked in Australia, which I'm not hundred percent sure that that's a valid reason. Yeah. Um, but then at least you have a benchmark, like you said, Tali. you can, you can start from somewhere, say you've done your research and at least know when you're going in that you, you've got um, ammunition to mm. have the conversation so that if they say, oh, we'll offer you 100 and you know that these roles are paying at 150, it's like, mm, yeah, no, let's let's talk about this. So um, it's a tool. It's a really valuable tool. And for us, it's a, it's a way to give back to the market to say that this is what we're finding nationally in these two sectors in terms of finance and the digital side, digital IT side. So, um, but of course, we're here have a conversation with us. It does change. It's been really interesting to see that the remote mm. salaries have gone up and that yeah. they're comparing very strongly with CBD-based salaries mm. as well. Um, and like you said, WA. Yeah. I think because there's so much mining yeah. over there that it's literally just brought the average of the whole WA straight yeah. up. And I also think because it's so remote, it's yeah. it's on the other side of the country. So if you're on the eastern side, Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, it's easier to travel. Where if yeah. you're in Perth, it is. A it's like a day between, a like a day or two between <laughs> either. It's a big country. Correct. <laughs> so um, yes, and there's there's different factors. There's different reasons for that. Um, yeah why the salaries are high but it's it, it's been a very interesting exercise for us yeah to do the research to find out um where every role's salary sits within every area lo- location um and was interesting to see salaries have gone up yeah regional salaries are comparing very strongly with city city seats and then in wa the salaries have gone up quite a bit um, yeah that yeah, was so, the one that I was more shocked about. Yeah. And then yeah. after when you said regional, it it all kind of made yeah. sense because yeah. people are working remotely from regional towns on city wages. Correct. 100%. Mm-hmm. So if you have any questions, if there's any way we can help, um, if you want to download the guide, it's on our website, montecu.com.au. 
um, Montague with a U, not an E at the end. Yes. <laughs> you won't um, mind us if you put that E yeah. on. Thank you so much for joining us on another episode of Conversations That Connect. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends. Connect with us on social media at Montague Group on LinkedIn and Facebook. And please feel free to drop us a line with any topics you would like us to discuss. And of course, any questions that you do have. Until next time, guys, stay curious and stay connected.